Good morning, everybody. Callum and I are here at um, at our bakery that we like to go to. We're having a bit of a celebration because my immigration appointment went really well. I'll give you more details when I'm not around a bunch of people, because um, you know it is kind of private. But we're celebrating with a Berliner. So, and here's there's a little gummy bear on it. <laughs> Do you want some? You want to come eat some? Okay, then you gotta come sit at the table. You have to come sit with mommy. He was so good. It was such a long appointment, and he was so, so, so good. So I decided that we would just come here and get something. They didn't have muffins, so. I think this will be just fine. <laughs> so this is really typical, especially um, around carnival season. Let's see if you open it. Oh, well, you can already see. It has marmalade, a marmalade jam, basically. It's a jam-filled donut. And this is really typical here during um, the carnival season. They don't normally look like this though. Normally they have like powdered sugar and stuff on them, but this one is special and I thought Callum would like it because it's got a little bear. This one is super jam filled. I didn't expect it to be that full, but yeah, it's pretty full. <laughs> here he comes, here he comes. Da 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 So dramatic going up and down. Ugh. So dramatic. <laughs> there he goes again. <laughs> What's that sound for? There he goes. Just letting him run on just letting him run around for a little bit. It's chilly, but it's not too, too bad. Woo! <laughs> yeah, you, you got up. You're hot. Just like his father, he's always saying he's hot. That's not dramatic at all, is it? Yes, it is. When I got home, the first thing that I did is I took off my glasses, or I took out my contacts, and I put on my comfy pants. <laughs> because I just was like, nope, I need to just get comfortable. So clearly I'm doing big things today. I just wanted to give a bit of an update about the appointment. We walked into the appointment this morning and I was very nervous. It's a business government thing and you're always just, at least for me, I'm always just a little nervous that I'll get somebody that's really rude or really mean and it just makes the whole experience horrible. And so I was very nervous. I woke up this morning and I packed a bunch of snacks and stuff for Callum because Roman had to go with us so naturally Callum had to go with as well and so I was just kind of I think I put all of my fear into making sure that I was very prepared to have a toddler because I didn't know how long it would take we talked about this in another vlog but the issue that we had was that I've never completed any sort of integrations course and as it was stated to us, I needed to have one. I needed to take one and complete one. There was a lot of um, a lot of confusion about what this appointment would actually entail. I mean, would they want me to take a German integrations test? Would they want me to, um, I don't know, take a German course? I don't know. Would they want me to, um, I didn't know what they would want me to do or what they would require or how how strict along the the borders of everything they would they would ask me to be. I just wanted to show basically that I knew what I was doing and that I was capable, most importantly that I was capable of of having these conversations and I was perfectly fine having them and I could answer and my German while it may not be perfect, I get my point across. What did become a problem was she ended up needing papers that weren't on the list, on the checklist, um, 
like something that she wanted to, to make copies of was Callum's German passport. And um, I guess to, to prove that I am a mother of a German child. But that was not on the checklist, but I'm really glad that I brought it. She looked at my files and looked at my papers and she said, you know, you, you actually speak really good German. Your German is really good. To me, I guess as an English teacher, I, I expect perfection and I know it's not perfect. She said, well, normally in order to get the new, the new um, residence permit, it's, it is required that you, that you have this integrations course, but you know, you've, you've come in here and you've shown me that you're very capable of, of taking care of yourself and handling your, your business and you, you speak really, you speak very well. So, um, I'm going to waive that. I was like, okay. Ding. I was here on a work visa before Roman and I got married. I moved here and lived here and worked here on a work visa so that I could earn money and work and relatively, um, be relatively independent from Roman. That was basically so that if we did anything or if we split up or whatever happened, I mean, we were just dating at the time. Um, I would not need Roman for anything, if that makes sense. Once we got married, my status here in Germany changed, and I was able to live here, thank you, I was able to live here as a spouse of a German citizen, but that one was only good for one year. If we were still married by the end of the first year, it would be extended to three years, and so that's what this one was. I just finished my three-year um, being married to Roman kind of thing. After three years of marriage, you are um, entitled, you're allowed to apply for a, a permanent residence card, which is basically the German equivalent of a green card. It allows me to be an individual completely independent um, in terms of the legal immigration world rather than being a t you know, allowed to live here as Roman's wife. Just comparing to the very first time when I walked into the... To the to the immigration office where we first lived when I first moved to Germany and just the stark difference between my abilities of being able to speak German I could and I and not being able to from you know years ago no one here speaks to me in in English I just think it's really been a benefit for me that I I never I never had that um, that fluff if that makes sense when I moved here I had to learn the language because that's what was spoken to me that was really hard. That was so hard for a long time because you are so much an outcast. And I think back to all the dinners where I didn't know how to respond. I didn't know the answers to anything. I didn't, even ordering something from the bakery or I just remember I would never go and order anything from the bakery because I didn't know what to say. I was just so scared. And then, you know, comparing it to now where I can go to the pharmacy and get medicine that Callum needs or, you know, talk to his doctor or handle my own immigration process. It's, it was just so surreal to see how far, how far I've come and just the difference in, in what's happened in these past few years. Before I moved to Germany, someone told me that learning a language is not like flipping on a light switch. You don't suddenly just get it. It's like climbing a mountain. You, you get tired, you fall down a few steps, you slow up. Um, and eventually you'll you'll make it. It's really cool. It's just so cool that this experience has allowed me to to learn another language. I mean, I've so much has happened here. I've given birth here in German, by the way. <laughs> and just just so much has happened and um just so many memories and so many milestones and I think like getting this permanent residence just sort of it, for me it was like a big a big life pat on the back where life just said you know good job you've you stuck with it you stuck with this I'm really really thankful that I didn't just pack my bags and, and go home it's nighttime cleanup good job oh geez oh. <laughs> Callum is Papa a slide yes you're climbing up? <laughs> this is what papas do. <laughs> Don't you remember the first the first time we went to the integration office? Yeah. <laughs> together, the immigration office? 
Okay, you have three months to prove that you earn enough income. Yeah, wasn't well... That, wasn't that what they said? Well, but now it's done. Never paperwork again. Yeah. At least here in Germany. Who knows? <laughs> there will always be paperwork <laughs> in our lives. <laughs> Don't jinx it. It's just true. I'm really proud of us. I'm really proud of... I'm proud of the fact that we made we made it this far. You made it. I didn't have to learn German. I didn't have to integrate. No, but you also had to make sacrifices. I mean, you could have just married a German. It would have been much easier in many ways. You know, you've been a part of it too. So you've had to make sacrifices. I mean, I think my sacrifices were a little more obvious in certain ways like <laughs> I moved my country I learned a new language like those are very obvious sacrifices but I mean you you made sacrifices too because you went to all the appointments with me and you handled a lot of the paperwork and stuff with me and it wasn't easy on you either you had to deal mm. with my homesickness you still deal with my home homesickness <laughs> So after six years, yeah, it's just it's part of it. I mean, it comes and goes, it comes and goes and shifts. Like, you know, some days I'm perfectly fine, and then other days something will just trigger you and you'll just miss being home. Like, today, a friend of mine in New Orleans posted a picture of a fried oyster po' boy, and I want to eat a fried oyster po' boy. <laughs> I'm a little homesick. We're not even allowed to eat that. I know. But I, I would eat a fried shrimp. I would eat a fried shrimp, po' boy. And you cannot get shrimp here. No. No. I think it's it's something for both of us. I mean, think about how, how different our lives are now than they were when I first moved here. You know? Yeah. One toddler. Second baby to come. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. It was an exciting day. <laughs> We will keep you posted with more stuff to come. Yep. And stay tuned. Bye. Bye.